Hello and welcome back to Distant Worlds Universe. We are continuing our game with the Gazillions with Arachni Hive. And, uh, yeah, I kind of. The thunderstorm is still going, but I think that's moving away, so <laughs> that's why I'm keeping recording that, and I really do enjoy this game. Uh, yeah, I already have that set. Okay. So, labor oriented. That is not a good one, kinda, because it reduces the population growth. The Colony happiness, but in turn increases the colony income. But I kind of like the population growth. Eh, it's a little bit annoying, but well, we'll have to leave with it. Uh, that one, yeah, it's right there. Okay. Space construction. So we have increased the uh, maximum construction size of ships to 230 and bases to 690. Keep in mind that if you want to construct a base outside the, well, in your colony, that doesn't apply. Only it only applies to the ooh, silicon and data for this is a luxury, and silicon is actually really needed. So there are a couple of good things around here. Oh, interesting. I'm going to move straight there, and there is a ship that is uh, damaged, which I probably will want to uh, grab. I kind of forgot what I was saying. Oh, damn it! Oh yeah, uh, if you want to build. Hang on, a couple of things happened here. What happened? Uh, wrong path. Well, we were at the beginning because that was the medical systems. Yeah. Right, if you want to build a, 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 well, a spaceport or a base in your colony, it doesn't really matter the, the size limit. This is only for deep space or for colony or for uh, mining uh, stations and whatnot. So yeah. Okay, you will be the next one. Please tell me this is a good one as well. Uh, please tell me that you are doing something. Yes. At the beginning you really do want steel and iridium. Uh, that I do want even though it's not that uh, great. Phew, lead and gold. This is a really good system. And that's annoying. Gold. That's annoying because usually I have to struggle at the beginning and right now I don't think I have to. Well, we'll change up these things. I'm already, yeah, I'm already there. I'm going to move them anyhow there. I don't think I have any, no, no planets up there. That's a little bit annoying. Usually I have to struggle a whole lot. Shipboarding, okay, that's good. Uh, probably will want to grab energy collection. Do I want to grab this one next? Or do I want to grab the proton ionization? It's a really nice upgrade though. Maximum thrust. It's a nice upgrade. If I can steal these uh, these things from the Slukin, or trade from the Slukin, that would be awesome, because these are actually better. They are, are only, well, they are better than that one. As you can see, look, uh, maximum thrust to 2340, to 2340, energy usage, they use a little bit more, uh, but they are smaller. Cruise thrust, 1840, 1370, yeah, energy a little bit more, but yeah, that that's uh, really good, uh, that is really good. No one able to call us, yeah, it's a barren colony, so... I'm going to send you there just because I want to grab the warp field and the uh, hyperdrives as soon as I can. There, let's investigate. In the ruins of Citadel of Montucudro, we have found a store of scientific knowledge from a vanished civilization through very difficult, though very difficult to decipher. The store of knowledge has given us enough understanding to begin researching the project Warp Field Precursors. The Warp Field Precursors project holds the promise of faster than light travel, opening up the galaxy for our exploration. Lovely. That is just lovely, and I'm going to grab you and send you right up there. I don't even care. Just go up there, and if you happen to get those resources... No, you don't. Okay, you will take care of that then. Right, so that uh, colony uh, construction ship. I wish I had a colony ship. That one is done. I'm going to uh, then move to 
not this one. This I already have. Yeah, that one. That is the one that I want. Nope, not that one. Iridium and steel. This I have iridium there as well. Fifty-one, fifty-three, or forty-five, fifty-seven. You know what? We'll go for the that of four first. Because it's a luxury. And then we'll we'll see where we go. Probably around the time where I build a second one. Entertainment systems. Recreation system. Oh right. Okay, so energy was done and I kinda of forgot to do this. I'm going to rush here because over here, warp field, uh, they have size 10, but energy usage 132, 78. Speed 2000, speed 1250. 18 seconds, 15 seconds. It's a nice little upgrade, and I really do want that, even though it's really expensive, and I really do mean it. As you can see, now we are researching at the best of our ability, which is good. Because that guy is a great genius, or. What's what do you want? Ultra genius. They increase the research output of our empire by twenty percent, and at the same time, because they are methodical, they decrease the chance of a critical su uh, research success or failure. That means fewer crash researches without me funding them, and but at the same time, fewer failures. So that's kind of nice. And we are already at eight billion people. Good, good going. Okay, you are building... Oh, right, I wanted to build a second construction ship. Because there are nice little things over there that I... Oh, and I also wanted to revise my spaceport, so we'll manual upgrade. This will still be Mark II, but it will be a revision A. And, as you can see, now we can actually build armor and mining engines and extractors and docking bays without having to worry. However, I need medicals and recreations, so a little bit more life in ham. Now this will in turn... Ah, yeah, I know, I need to redesign that passenger ship. I'll get to it right now. I'm going to retrofit this immediately to that. And as soon as that is done, this should be fairly easy to do. And I kind of forgot to put in... God damn it. Any upgrade. Uh, energy collectors save fuel. I'm going to overshoot this because energy collector is dependent on the um, size, well, the distance from the sun, so I want this a little bit more than usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as soon as that is done, I'll need to retrofit again. Hm, lovely. Come on, get it done. Oh, Jesus. Construction ship as... Cons oh, good. Okay. Galaxy priority. So we have this one. Lead, steel, and gold. We have already have lead, steel, and gold, but... What don't I have? Right there, I'm already colonizing. We could go for Krypton and Ilium. And I need hydrogen as well because I don't think I have it. But hydrogen I can get away from using for a while. Because for colonization, railguns, point defense cannons, I can get away with not having hydrogen for a little bit. Krypton, however, is a requirement for missiles. And helium is a requirement for shields. So yeah, we are going to go there. It's it's crap, but we are going to go there. Anyhow. Although we have hydrogen already, so yeah, there's no point in me getting there. And where are you? Still there. God damn it. Retrofitting. Okay. Now I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to get into this one. Retrofit to small spaceport. There. We are just going to add those components. There we go. Now it's done. And now we don't use up the fuel unless we want to shoot at stuff. So, all pluses. 
And we got a new scientist, and he is demoralizing. So guess what? You are going for weapons testing, and I'll explain. This guy sucks. First is demoralizing, so it decreases the existing skill of all other characters at the same location in the same fleet, or in the same fleet. So yeah, he decreases the, the skills. But he's a foreign spy, so he significantly significantly increases the success rate of other empires still tech espionage missions against your empire how lovely is that just lovely isn't it uh, by the way let's take a look do you have you found yes you do another empire okay Kaden nation <laughs> I am fated to find them really I am fated to fight them these guys they are master engineers ship maintenance and gifted scientists faster research Okay, so they are a republic, so even more faster research. Let's go for the characters. Guess what? You have your first mission for the Gaiden Nation to steal the territory map so I can know where they are. 92% probability, so this guy's probably a good, and they, it probably has a good espionage value. So we'll, we'll have signed one year for him to do that, and then we'll see where the heck those guys are. They're probably around here, or with my luck, they're probably right there, right there right next to me that's just how my luck goes okay let's keep going time doesn't stop actually it does but oh well. our leader colony happiness okay good oh yeah they had the minus 10 Ugh. I really hate the labor ori oriented gives me a little bit more cash but as Xerians. Mm. So, Hydrogen and Gaslan. I definitely want that one. Oh, Lone Trader. Oh, we have a country Lone Starship and the game is paused. In our system, the Thira Scheme. It does not appear to be a hostile pirate, but rather an independent space trader. Could there be other ships like this? Might they help transport needed? Might they help transport needed resources for us? Yes, they will, which will be good. So let's move there. Since you already do that, uh, Gambit, you require refueling. And this, Tigerius, Krypton, and Ilium. Okay, change of plans. You know that uh, thing that you are going to do there? You are not going to do that. You're going to build it here. And there. And we'll move there. Because they have Tigerus, they have Krypton and Ilium, both things that we had there. Uh, okay, so you have done that. God damn it, more steel and gold. Okay, so you are pretty much done. I'm going to just send you to refuel, because the other guy will take care of everything else. So there's only two more planets to discover, and then we have to deal with that. And by the way, are you going to cross straight into the... Well, you have 24 speed. Or it might be in Krypton and Ilium. Huh. How about that? We will have no shortage of gases in this game. Insert a pun there, if you want. Okay, uh, as soon as I explore this one, there. We have Tiderius there as well. Oh, interesting. This is a great planet, though. And that one is not that bad. I'm going to assign you to refuel. And I know that I said we would try to do the um, the building or the designing at the end of the episodes, but I think this warrants a little something. First, I want to research enhanced missiles and gravitic weapons because they are awesome against smaller targets. And just. Uh, I really don't like air weapons. Hmm. We'll research rail then after that. So we are going for enhanced commerce, warp fields, yep. I cannot crash research, I need 81,000 credits for that. And apologies for that sound. Uh, the thing is, do I want to, to build a couple of escorts already? I can probably get a... Oh, yeah, right. Passenger ship. Kind of forgot about that. This is a private ship. I'm going to copy this guy as new. I'm going to rename this to 
passenger. Original, I know. Transporter. It's really original. Not a small freighter. You will be a passenger. Oh, damn it. Where is it? Passenger ship. God damn it. We'll put three of those in here. A little bit up. One, two, three. There we go. That is the only thing that I'm going to do. And by the way, the um, private uh, sector will pay you to build ships in your spaceport. That's why we still have money even though our cash flow is in the negatives. Really in the negatives. Yeah. And they are the ones that uh, maintain the bases, by the way. So you don't want to build a whole lot of bases. Especially not those because, well, then you'll drive your economy to the ground. And we are above 11 billion. We could go about 22 billion, so we are halfway there. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 24, I can... Oh, that's fine. The one that's going to cross right into there is this guy, but 46 speed is probably good enough for him to get a hell away. And I'm construction constructing that as well. Yeah. Good. Good stuff. Okay, so right now there's not a whole lot of stuff to do. Hmm, how about that? Our exploration of this system is pretty much done. Our intelligence agent will be done, well, this month actually. Good. Enhanced missiles. Good. Good going. I like that. I approve of that. And... This is the one. Okay, good. I need to retrofit these bases just so they don't consume that much fuel. Right, so evaded detection after successfully stolen the territory map. So, right there. What about? Oh, how about that? They are far away. Amazing. Good. So they don't have a cluster of their own. <laughs> Good. They'll be hard pressed to expand. That's good. And let's take a look at our character because right now. Oh, courageous. Lovely. Plus 10% espionage, counter espionage, sabotage, psyops, concealment, and assassination. So plus 10% across the board and 23% espionage. Guess what? I am going to put you to work straight away. Steel research. Uh, gravitic weapons. One year. Can you pull that off? No, you can't. Okay. Then just counter espionage. I don't want to lose this guy. This guy is good, so I'm going to do that. If I can get a guy that has concealment as well. Do you have concealment, by the way? No, you have courageous. You are courageous. So you yeah, you actually do. Hmm. Might actually be able to pull that off. We'll see. Yeah, they were. They were probably uh, refueling. And they will pay you to refuel. 13 billion. How lovely. We're only waiting for that uh, warp field precursors so I can actually design a couple more ships. Okay. Hmm. Spaceport. Two mining stations, we'll have more now. Yeah, you are done. Good. Weapon research skill. Good. At least you are improving. Well. Weapons research should uh, come along fairly fairly fast now. Yeah. It's on par with the high tech. I might actually need to increase that. How are my resources doing? Let's take a look. A lot of caslin, a lot of hydrogen. Let's sort by amount. Lead. Yeah, I need... Hmm? Yeah, I need more lead. Lead is needed. Okay. Iridium, steel, lead right there. That's why they want me to get that one. 
Jesus, what are you doing there? Okay, I'm going to actually assign you to retire. 28 speed, it's not that bad, but the problem is they have no hyperdrive. There we go. And we discovered a tiny opal. Good. Right there. How about that? This is a very rare luxury resource. Lovely. <laughs> Those two moons should have uh, crushed <laughs> against each other. Yeah. God damn it, 17 billion. Hyperspace technology discovered. Lovely. And we've discovered the, uh, this thing as well. I'm going to rush the tactical in. Uh, not yet. What do I want? I want to improve the assault tactics, logistics, and defense tactics. Yeah, I want all of that. This will improve my troops. And speaking of troops... Start to get a crap ton of troops. Right, so we have hyperspace. I'm going to wait until that guy actually gets dismantled, sorry. So we see what type of... Where do we have the bonus? Apparently nowhere. Really? Usually after you retire a ship like that, you get a bonus to something. Apparently I didn't get a bonus to anything. Just lovely. And they had bigger technology as well. Yep. Military ship is gone. I think I found a bug. Empire contact. Yes. Tell me about this empire. Wakers Confederacy. Republic. Uh, my agent. Still research man. Uh, still territory man. Yeah, Jesus. One month. Yeah, three months. One year. Okay, one year. Go forth. Okay, I need to design my ships. Uh, state ships. Let's go for the escort. I'm going to auto upgrade and now I'm going to edit. This way they switched up something. Uh, it was Maxis Blasters. Which is fine. I'm going to add 10 armor because these guys, their primary uh, thing will be to get polymer, carbon fiber, and helium. I don't have carbon fiber over here, which is a bit annoying. I'm actually going to just put like that. Uh, add an energy collector. The primary job will be to fight against. Um, what's it called? Uh, those pesky little things that annoy me to no end. Uh, it will be to fight against uh, space creatures. God damn it. Chromium as well, I don't have it. Jesus, this is going to be a rough start after all. Okay, I have plenty of energy output, but uh, that is due to the hyperdrive. So, this hyperdrive sucks compared to that, so that is, that is something. I'm going to add a couple of railguns, maybe. No, 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 no. Missiles? I can't add my missiles because I'll be above the limit. So guess what? More armor. Congrats. Okay. Now. Build me a crap ton of these. Six is fine. One, two, three, four. Five. And I have no sh no sh money. No sh money. That can be changed quite soon. 35%. I want them to be happy still though. And pay 100%. Because why not? So there. As soon as that changes, I'm going to add a couple more ships to be built. Which is fine because my spaceport is now being building. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> it is now building. Uh, uh, civilian ships. God damn it. Yeah, small freighters. How many do I have now? Military ships. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I can go for another one. Uh, escort. Six. Alright, so there we go. 
I could have. Me. Okay, spaceport. Yeah, I know. I will need to build uh, to improve that spaceport soon. Who? Oh. While preparing, really? So I have no no guy now. Hmm, lovely. How lovely is that? I have no intelligence agent now. And it was a good one. Oh, and 92% probability. Uh, I'm severely unlucky. Really unlucky. Oh, and we got a new one. And PsyOps. Oh, Jesus. Guess what? <laughs> Still territory map for one year. Yeah, 81%. I was unlucky in the last time. Hopefully this one will be lucky. Of course, he'll be captured, but if he is, well, that's fine. PsyOps. Inside rebel rebellions. Yeah. And I can reduce that already. Reduce the tax so they can actually grow 34%. Jesus. That is ridiculous. Let me tell you. It really is ridiculous. Foreign builds. Okay. Build. Military ship constructed. Attack space luck. Yeah. Good going. Hyper jump. So, one of our ships, the Gurkha. Uh, Mark 2001 has engaged his ARPA drive, allowing us to, trust, to travel faster than light for the very first time. However, this is, well, uh, this is distances that previously took months to traverse can now be covered nearly instantly. Next stop, the stars. Yeah, nearly instantly is not really the case, but okay. We're also receiving reports that at the time of this hyperjump, unusual sensors readings were reported at Mount Kudro 8. Maybe we should send in a ship to investigate this area. Yeah, the thing that popped up, and I'm guessing it's right there. A giant Kaltors. Strength 7 and Strength 6. Space lugs are actually <laughs> uh, more difficult than those guys. And they are being attacked already. Okay. Good luck. Giant Kaltor en encounter. Yeah. If this guy dies, which is, let me tell you, very likely, it's very, very likely that he dies, this uh, space slug will improve uh, the freaking uh, their strength. And now he's attacking at the other. Is it? The game is kind of slow. Make up your mind, and these guys are just. <laughs> these guys are just. Uh, did you kill them at least? Of course not. They're still alive. Eleven kicking. Could have not automated that though. Yep. Go repair. Go repair. Go repair. Go repair. You'll die. You'll die. No. Go repair. 8 damage, 10 damage, go repair. God damn it. Alright, one is dead. Good. Space slug. Go repair, yeah. <laughs> and another agent that was captured. Lovely. Okay, I have three ships. Hopefully, what are you doing? A no clue. Defense tactics. Alright, let's get efficient blasters a little bit more. We'll also get the. Uh, well, we'll start that. Just because. And we'll start to the point of fence. Right now we are researching this really, really fast. By the way, I cannot crash research this, which is a bit annoying. And same token, I cannot crash research that. My population. Max population, finally. Okay, so 35%. Probably overkill. Really overkill, yeah. 32% is the sweet spot. And as you can see, recreational medical facilities benefit us. That is due to the... Um, what's it called? Uh, medical and re, uh, recreation center. Okay. Now my escorts are doing stuff. And my exploration ships are not. Okay, I'm going to auto-upgrade this, I'm going to add it, and I'm going to add the warp bubble generator and reactors to support it. Uh, four reactors, apparently, are needed. 
I have in life. There we go. Because I definitely... Oh, and I kind of have to auto-print this and add this as well. There. Because I kind of... Need to add you to retrofit and add you to retrofit. You too as well. Because I really, really, really need to start exploring other stuff for the resources that, that I still require. And you guys are slower than that guy, aren't you? Yep, they are. There you go. Should be able to handle them. There we go. Now I should go for the space slugs. Still have attack strength 5. Good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we have income, we have everything but resources. Are right, those guys, they are still retrofitting the same over here. There we go, so that was done. Good. Good going, guys. And now I can crash research. Get me the good ARP hyperdrive fast. Okay, so I have a couple of ships that are already ex done. I'm going to be controlling for the most part. Well, actually, at the beginning, I'm going to be controlling. Uh, no mission, yeah. Move you up there. Need to start exploring, and uh, the closer they are, the better for me. Uh, by the way, what that colony? 51%. Yeah, this is not great, but I, I'm kind of tempted to get there. Let's take a look over here. They have two planets, one moon. Okay, so two gas giants. I'm going to explore them anyhow. Usually I only name mm, the things, but okay. It's probably done already. Not yet. Come on. Colony happiness, good. Gaslon, alright, so a little bit of fuel. At least uh, in the beginning. And you don't have anything. Lovely. Alright, so I'm going to move you there because you're a star system. The supernovas and the black holes, they don't have anything, usually. Usually, no, they don't have anything. Only, and uh, helium. Okay, and you have a moon there. Move over there just to. Oh, I already have it. But that is actually a good one. Iridium, lead, and steel. Yeah, that is actually a good one. I will have to go grab that. Uh, I'm going to move you to uh, the spaceport because that is pretty much done. And your range sucks because of that freaking thing. Fission blaster is good. Please tell me you have moons and planets. Yes, you do. Okay, so... Barren Rock, Barren Rock, and Barren Rocks, and over there, Gas Giant. Yep, Gas Giant. Let's move over there. Actually, you know what? Just assign you to explore that. I'm going to automate you at least a little bit. Where is my explorer? Are you already here? Probably. Yeah, you're already here. I'm going to assign you to explore this system. Because there are a couple of things that are not explored yet. And this is the time where I actually put a cut in the episode. There's a pirate ship right there. It's an exploration ship. And it's for... Yeah, it's for the same guys. Okay. I'm going to put a cut in the episode. If you have questions, if you have any doubts, if you have any comment whatsoever, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more of Distant Worlds Universe, put a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, do take care and goodbye.